Good afternoon, guys. Hope you're all okay. Right. So, inbox review for a very much requested kit. Uh, it's a new addition to the stash. Um, I've been after this kit for an extremely long time. Um, I've promised myself this time that I'm starting to get my stash back that I'm going to try and build my top five favourite vehicles that I love. So I'm going to, that includes top five aircraft, top five uh, tanks and so on. So uh, the Lancaster is uh, one of my top five of all time, obviously. Um, it's a Tamiya kit too. I've had a quick look at some reviews that are online, and there's quite a few reviews online. Well, there isn't that many, and the ones that I've seen uh, don't sort of, you don't like sort of, when they take the top off the box, see exactly what's in the box and all that. And when I when I see an inbox review, I like to see that, because I like to see exactly what we're getting. So, um, yeah. So, it's a Tamiya kit, it's in 148th. Uh, it retails, now I bought this yesterday, yeah, yesterday, and hold your breath, guys. It, it retails it. Well, I bought it for ninety six quid uh, English pounds, uh, which is uh, quite astronomical for um, a kit. But I've not had the best of news recently, so I thought, sod it, why not? Um, and also, I have looked on Amazon and eBay, and you can get it for about sixty seven quid uh, retailing. There's two versions of it you can get. There's one uh, the e model. Well, e model sell both of them. Um, the other one you've got actual motors and the propellers, so that you can build it so they go around. Um, and there's also two versions of this that, you, that in this kit that you can build. Sadly, um, they don't in this kit they don't do the version with the uh, machine gun, the gunner on top of the fuselage, which I do love. Um, however, that wasn't the version that did the. Um, is it the newer canal, the newer dam, sorry, or whatever it was, the, the um, famous uh, bouncing bomb and that, the dam buster. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's have a look at the kit. We're going to ramble on, because again, my knowledge on aircraft is not the best at this minute in time, so let's let's uh, let's have a quick look. Sorry, let's have a quick swig of my coffee. Right, so, box art. There's lovely uh, one of the uh, dams at the front, uh, which looks like I think it's the newer, is it? Looks a lot like the newer one. Uh, two Lan Lancasters there. On this end, you get a picture of the Mark III uh, 617 Squadron with the colour call out, and you also get a picture of the canopy. Now, the canopy, they give two versions of the canopy in this. They give a, a coloured one already, so you don't need to uh, paint it and whatever else, which is great. Or they give you the one way you can paint it and do whatever. It's 2012 kit. Uh, you get five figures, which is nice for a diorama. Uh, and three kinds of markings are included. It's kit number 61111. That's six double one double one. On this side you get squad, Squadron 617 and it's the Mark 1 um, and you get a picture of the Grand Slam bomb, pardon me sorry, which is the £222,000 bomb and a picture of one of the figures that's included in the kit. And then on that side it's exactly the same. So what do we get in the kit? Right, so in the kit we get all of this loveliness. Okay, so you get a instruction manual, which is that way, but they've done it that way, which is quite nice. The usual uh, sort of late 2000, and, I think it was 2010, 2009, I think they started including these background information booklets of the, the kit that you buy and vehicle. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
then the fuselage that's quite a nice touch from uh, Tammy. it's both attached to the sides and as you can see that's quite a big aircraft that's going to be um, and it's attached together already but obviously you've got to um, attach it yourself and then of course you get your canopies which are your coloured ones your clear canopy part and your decal so So let's start with background information booklet. Right, so it's all in Japanese at the front as you would expect. Um, it's a Japanese country, so it's in over the back. Then we have all the English and the French and the German. Um, it tells you, it shows you a bit of the dam and what how it was set up and how the bomb was supposed to have worked. Uh, information about the moonlight attack, um, how it was groundbreaking, um, and then basically a bit of a map of your kit and what it's uh, what certain bits are and also the specifications of the uh, actual bird so um, the length the wingspan the engine and all that type of thing okay then you get your booklet your instruction booklet which uh, tells you what's going to uh, basically about the kit again it's on the front uh, the fuselage is 443 millimeters and the wingspan is 648 millimeters so it is a big big kit so you turn it on its side and as you can see it's a booklet type you have three options the color call outs and the paints that are required you start off with uh, attaching the figures together uh, the construction of the figures so you get a pilot the radio operator and then some of the crew that are standing um, ready to sort of uh, board the plane and then also a ground crewman and then you start with your cockpit um, which looks quite very well detailed and then your fuselage interior parts and then put your fuselage together then you start uh, constructing your gun turrets uh, attaching one of your figures um, and then you're attaching your fuselage and your gun bits and bits of glass, the canopy bits and the rear turret onto it with your gun, sorry. Then attaching your canopies and then you start with your engines. Now I, I do believe this actually comes with two engines that you can leave um, uh, uh, like so that the um, panels are lifted up so you can actually see the engine. Um, then you attach your engine nacelles. Then your uh, landing gear, and then you attach your main landing gear, which is quite a nice touch. So you can actually attach that before you, you clamp your wings together, so you can sort of paint it and all, you know, do you all your painting and all sorts, which is good. Uh, your wing assembly, then your your wheels, and then you, then that's it gives you the option to have it closed if you wanted you uh, flying in the air. Then attaching all your wing parts, then your tail assembly, um, then attaching the wings and the tails, and then the rear tail wheel. Uh, then you're attaching your ordnance, which is uh, your bomb, which is a Dan Buster bomb, which is for versions A and B. It calls out here um, on top of your instructions uh, what version of the kit you're going to be doing, so you need to research first and go through. So um, at the front here, it tells you A, B and C. So obviously you need to look here and go through your instructions and see which, because here straight away, the Dam Buster cockpit is different to the Grand Slam Bomber, which is C. Um, so A and B are the same and C is different. So there's one to note straight away. Um, so yeah, so then for C, version of your Grand Slam Bomber, uh, you get your Grand Slam Bomb. Then you've got to come down to your fuselage parts below. Then, this is two parts again here, so you can attach in your engine covers, uh, and that's um, attaching without the engines, um, so it shows you how to do it here. And then you also have the option of installing the engines. Now, you have from what I can see, you only get two engines, so you can, and I think you can only have it on the left-hand side of the plane. 
But again, if you have any sort of on a little diorama or little vignette, it's quite a nice little touch because uh, you do get a couple of ground crew with it as well, which uh, you know you could have on the on the vignette. Then you've got your engine cover assemblies. Then you come down here and you've got your two engine uh, actual engines to to construct. Uh, and then you come down to your propellers and then attaching your propellers onto the engines and then attaching your engines into the uh, wings and the, the, the covers. So altogether you've got 22, 23 sections to construct the plane. And then you've got uh, A and B markings um, and then the C marking there and it also tells you again here but that's also for your stencils, uh, decals or your stickers and then again at the bottom it's telling you how to paint it, how to apply your decals and of course your service parts if you need to write off to Tamiya for any uh, extra parts and just for your knowledge if you're in Britain and you're trying to write off to Tamiya good luck with that because I'm still waiting nearly two and a half years on for a, a, um, I think it was a gun battle or something that was broken on me Kit. Okay, so let's come on to the first sprue as I pulled them out. Of course, it's a 2012 kit, so you've got your annoying Tamiya um, staples. I'll take them out later. Okay, so the first one is your pilots and your ground crew. Age 148 scale. This says 1975 on the sprue gate. So Again, then, they are well detailed. The seam lines down the legs, as you get with every single plane in Tammy figure, even in 135th. Nice plastic, and again, um, it's what you usually get with Tammy 148 figures. You just get an arm missing and you have to reconstruct it. But again, they're not the uh, terrible, but they're okay. So that's that. Let's get my little board out so you can see properly. Uh, then you come on to sprue B. Um, and you get uh, your rear wheels which come into two. So you have to stick them together so you'll have to get rid of the seam line down the middle. You've got the joystick or the control stick and that is quite nice actually. The guns look very nice for a change. 48 scale, the machine guns that accompany the kit are quite nice. Although, again, you'll have to drill out the barrels if you want them to look really special, but they do, you know, they're not terrible. I've seen worse details again on this, but let's see if you can see where are we. So they're not bad, but they're okay. Wouldn't go mad on them. Definitely try and drill out the, um, the barrels to be fair. Um, let's go with the next one. Let's pick that up. Don't want surgical spirit everywhere. Okay, so your next sprues are your rear wings and your engine nacelles. And this is sprue E. It's raised, it's raised uh, panel lines. However, there are recessed panel lines too, so you're going to have to be extremely careful. That's nice. The rear um, wings um, are. Hole, which is quite nice and then obviously the actual wing wings that uh, go uh, horizontal are to construct together but again the detail on them is not, not terrible again I've seen worse you can see the bolts as well detailing if you can catch those and then you get two sprues of the same of this one, which is sprue A. So you get two propellers, and then on the one you get two propellers, um, and your tyres and your wheels and a bit of engine detail. 
plastic's very nice and then exhausts too again they are holes so you'll have to perhaps drill out the ends of them as well if you wanted them to look a bit more special um, again very nice solid plastic for the um, propellers and then I don't know if you can check out the wheels guys but the tread you get the actual tread on the wheels which again is a nice touch and the weight bearing too so they look flat there when the plane's on them but they are lovely in detail see if you can see that so they're nice so we get two A sprues and then we come on to the main wings which I'm guessing So you get your upper wing, which is sprue D. Again, it's raised panel lining, so you're going to have to be a little bit careful when um, gluing these together. But again, very solid. There's no flash and there's no ejector pin marks where they're going to be annoying. So that's nice. They're all on the inside, so that's a good sign. So that's not bad. And then you get sprue C, which is the upper wing, is it? Must be. Yeah, it's the upper part wing. Again, it's, there's no flash, which is nice. They say 1975 on the sprue gate. So, again, it's not bad at all. So good detailing on the wings. And they seem pretty uh, solid as well. Then we come on to the sprue with the bombs on, which looks like uh, your Super Slam bomb, which is sprue H. Nice detailing on the bomb. Again, there's no flash on any parts. There's your undercarriage, which is part of the under part of the plane. Very nice detailing again. Nice solid plastic. Can't moan at that. And then we come on to Sprue G, which again looks like you've got some sort of tail gun on the back, or a gun anyway. Then you've got the Dam Buster Bomb, which is nice, there's no uh, flash on it. And the actual tabs on the screw are not um, sort of just a bit like a tank wheel. So you're just going to have to um, just mould or sand that off. Then we come on to the, another propeller and the other uh, type of wheel. So again, you're going to have to. And there's two of these sprues, which are sprue L. Just check that the other sprue is out. Yep. So you get two different propellers again and a different wheel tyre with no tread on that one this time, but you've still got the weight bearing in them, which is nice. Different exhausts, again, which aren't hollow, so you're going to have to drill out the pipes. Um, but then you've got your um, engine covers, which I suppose you can um, sort of uh, do open. Don't you? But again, there's a uh, Get the pin marks there, so you perhaps have to saw them out, sand them out. It depends, I suppose, on the if, what, what you can see and what you can't. This is a 2009 spruce, this is a more modern sprue. Get two of those, and then we come on to your main fuselage, which again, like Tammy, it's a very, very nice uh, touch by Tammy. You get it actually attached together. So in a way, you can see that it really does go together very nicely, very nicely indeed. Um, raised panel lining, there's your rear door, you could always uh, I suppose cut that out if you wanted and sort of you know, super detail that or scratch build bits onto that. You've got a nub there where it's come off the sprue gate or there should have been a sprue gate attached so it's a shame that they 
can't get rid of that pulley really. Okay, a bit of sander in the um, Zapto knife you can, you can find. Again, no flash, nothing, there's no ejector pin marks anywhere. And the detailing on that is very nice too. Let's see if we can get it a bit closer. Because it's that big, you've got to be careful. So it's not bad detailing at all. And again, you've got quite a good bit of detailing on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Good bit of detailing on the inside there too. So that's nice. Then we come on to the clear cockpit parts, clear canopy, sorry. So you guys that want to different uh, call outs to the ones that are actually coloured. We've got the um, glass at the bottom where the, uh, maybe the radar or something, the camera went at the bottom. Very, very nice colouring. The um, canopy is actually raised slightly so you should be able to mask that off okay. I mean I have, there is, a, I have actually got a masking set on the way. See, it came with metal all the way up this way. So there's actually a scratch right down the middle of that, which is a shame. But all the other stuff looks beautiful. Perfect. Then you come onto your coloured um, glass with the uh, colouring already on it. Which I think is a beautiful touch from Sam here. So this is how it comes, like so. I'm not going to get it out because I don't want to destroy it. But let's see if you can get a good view of this. It's a nice bit of. There's a part there where you can have the windows, the side windows, which come in this separate bit there. So you could have it open or you could have it attached, you know. so there you go, that's a nice little touch from Tamiya. So it's already coloured and on the inside too. So that's nice. And then you've got your rear these gun turrets too, which are very nicely detailed. Extremely nice this is. So yeah, a lovely touch from Tamiya that is. I really am impressed with that. Extremely impressed. And then we come on to the decals. Again, people either detest or like Tanya decals. I personally them in the middle at the minute. I don't have any bad issues with them. And I have really, I've only had a couple of bad Tanya decals really, but nothing major. Yeah, a little tip for you guys as well with Tammy here, make sure you try and take your staples off the decal bags before you take the decals out because I have had some that have actually scratched the uh, decals before, which is a nightmare. So you have to be careful. So here's your first set of decals, which is the cockpit instrument panels. And then your stripes. And your proper wing markings and fuselage markings. Which again seem very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you can actually see that they are quite thick off the um, backing sheet as well so again they do seem quite thick so you probably are going to need a lot of set and sole or sole set whatever you want to use on these decals especially the, the um, British markings so that guys is that so it's a lovely kit 
can't say anything bad about it really. Um, again, it's like an oldish kit. It's a 19. Uh, it, well, it's a 2010 release, did we say? I can't remember what we said. Or was it 2012 release? I think we said 2012 release. Well, yeah, it's 2012 release, but it's got you know the 70s sort of uh, plastic in it. You know the sprue gates and stuff. Anyway, guys. Um, it's a great little kit, it's 148 scale, it's your Dan Buster Grand Slam Bomber, uh, Afro Lancaster. Uh, sorry it's not the greatest of uh, inbox reviews, but it'll do, you can tell what's in the box and everything. So it's kit number 61111, that's uh, I bought this at a retail price of about £96 and something pence from emodels.co.uk. Um, they do do the other version, and that retails at £107 and something pence. Um, I don't go above usually £60 tops for a kit, but because, like I said, the news and stuff like that, and just because I was uh, really fancied it, why not? So, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, guys, hope you're well. Hope you'll stay safe, and may the force be with you.